Guys, welcome back to Building a Badass YJ. Uh, today I have a little disassembly takeoff. Um, the rear bumper I have is not only bent, but it's going to be where I'm going to place my new shackles, so it needs to come off. So I'm going to walk over and show you guys what's up with the bumper, why I'm taking it off, and then I'll do a quick, quick, quick video of taking it off. So let's walk over there. Alright guys, so if you take a look at this bumper, it is bent. Um, I kind of fucked the cross member up, and I sheared a bolt at the same time. So, um, one, it's bent. Two, I'm trying to move this shackle to a hanger right here, basically. So I get a little, because um, I'm going to put some um, S10 52 inch springs on here. So I need a little more room. Um, I mean, I'm redoing all the brackets, but I want to put the bracket back here on the bumper and then eventually build a bumper around the bracket. But um, this is only, I think it's eight bolts to take this whole bumper off. So I'm just going to set the camera up, do it quickly. I got the breaker bar out here just in case. And uh, this is a 5 8 socket. So I'm just going to set it up and we'll, we'll get to it, guys. Alright, so it looks like there is some nuts behind it. They're not welded on, so um, I got my box wrench and my socket wrench. Alright, so the nut on the back was an 11 sixteenths and then a 5 eighths bolt. Alright, so I got these two bolts off. These things were a pain in the ass. If you could see, so this is the gas tank skid right here. This is the exhaust pipe. And then this is the lip for the cross member. And the bolt holes are back here. Or sorry, the, the nuts are back here. And that was a pain in the ass. Um, let's see. Where's my socket wrench? I used um, a one inch, one inch extension to get to it with the um, 11 16th socket. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but I'm actually gonna move over and do the exact same thing on the other side first. And then do those ones last because those are easier. I don't want half the bumper to fall off either. I'd rather just do it two, 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 and then pop it off. So I'm gonna set it up again and we'll do this side.
All right, I got those four off, and now it's, I'm gonna take off the last four. All right, guys, for this one, I don't know if you guys can see that bolt or, or that nut or not, but the socket doesn't fit on it because of the body mount. So you just have to get a box wrench. Box wrench this. So I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna get this bolt off and then we'll go to the other side. I'm actually gonna leave this bolt in right now, that way I can go over and do that side. All right, so this thing's probably gonna fall down but um, looks like I have to use a box wrench on this side too. So let me go ahead and take this off for you guys and hopefully this doesn't fall on me. All right guys. Now it's off. I don't think I bent the cross member at all. Not right there. Actually, right there I bent it a little bit. But I think I'm gonna replace this cross member with a, with a fat block of steel. Or maybe some quarter inch um, box tubing. We'll see. Looks kinda naked right now. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. Um, I still have the unveil I'm going to do for you guys uh, whenever I get a chance. So uh, have a good day. See you guys later.